Okay, kicking off our spring sports media day tour here at CBC TV is the Chagrin Falls softball team, head coach Whitney Garrett, and we've got a few girls with us. Coach, welcome. I appreciate you joining us on this Sunday afternoon. Give us a little overview. What can we expect out of the team this year? Hi, thanks for having us. We're really excited to be here. Um, we are really excited going into this season. We have a great core group of seniors, which are returning three of them here um, with me today. Uh, it's a very special group for me because I've had them all four years now. Um, and they are hungry to make a change for our softball program, which is super exciting. Not only do we have a great core of um, seniors, which are leading the way, but we also have a lot of growth in our program coming from the youth. So we're seeing a lot more freshmen, including this freshman class, coming in with a lot more um, softball skills to begin with. And we are really excited as we see the competitive spirits behind them as well. So we're looking for a very competitive and exciting season this year. Looks like you've got five returning all conference players. So you have a solid core group to help you. And Harvey graduated, you know, two of its best players. They've kind of had a hold on that Chagrin division for a while. So is this the year that Chagrin Falls might stake a claim to that CBC title? I think Chagrin's going to give it a run for their money. I think our biggest competitor this year is going to be West G joining our, or joining our conference. Yeah, so that makes it a little more interesting. Well, mm -hmm. What's it going to take for your team to do that and, and make that run at a, t a conference title? Um, I think our biggest things that we need to focus on this year, and it's been the past couple of years we've been preaching this to our girls, is just um, confidence and believing in ourselves and in our abilities on the field, as well as our communication on the field and really playing off each other's strengths and relying on one another in order to pick the whole team up as a core. All right, Coach, I'll come back to you after I talk to the girls. Let's start uh, with Peyton. Uh, Peyton Pierce, um, welcome. Uh, glad you could make it uh, here on Sunday. But coming in, uh, you've had a great career so far. What are you hoping to accomplish this season? Thank you. Um, I think this year I'm just looking to have an overall better record and have a lot of fun this year with the, the, um, the younger group of girls that we have. Coming in senior year, what's left for you to accomplish? What, what are some of the goals that you haven't achieved yet? Um, like Coach was saying, the CVC conference, I'd like to place better and be a more aggressive team as a whole. And, and coming in, you, I, I believe you're shortstop? Yes. And, and talk about the growth of this team uh, You know, in the four years that you've been here. What have you seen, your, your teammates and just the program as a whole? How have you kind of seen it grow? Um, there's been a lot of growth with the skills and just general knowledge with the game. Um, coming in, I know a lot of girls were either new or didn't have a lot of experience. And I think that um, overall they understand the game and they've just grown a lot in defense and in offense. When you look at your role this year, I mean, obviously you've got to clean up the balls there in the middle infield. Uh, what kind of leadership is coach expecting from you? Um, I would say again with communication, being there to work through the hard times and help some of our younger girls who are less experienced and make um, everyone more comfortable. Who are some of the girls on the team that have been impressive in the preseason? This is a chance for you to give some of your teammates a shout out. Um, I would say definitely um, Mia Beavers. She was a freshman last year and her pitching has been much better this year. She's made a lot of improvement and we've had a good couple freshmen come in, specifically um, Bridget Edwards and Gina Ponikvar, they have been incredible during the offseason. What are your goals for senior year? What is it that you're hoping to just kind of put another notch in your belt? What, uh, how, how do you want to leave this program? Um, I would say maybe just give them a better idea of like how to play the game and how to like lead the, the other girls that are going to come in and leave a good message that like we're a strong team and we're going to be very competitive going forward. From from a player's perspective, what are the keys to victory for Chagrin Falls this year? Um, I would say our defense is going to be pretty a pretty big, uh, pretty going to be pretty important. Um, now that we have we have a really good, like I said, Mia is going to be really important, and I think we as a defense are going to need to back her up a lot. Outstanding. Well, good luck to you this year, Caroline. We'll go to you, and just for the folks at home, go ahead and introduce yourself, name, grade, and position. Um, I'm Caroline Reeder. I'm a senior, and I'm a center fielder. So Caroline coming in, you know, you've got a, a senior at shortstop with a lot of experience. 
you're out there in the outfield and in, in center field, kind of the, the center fielder is usually like the, the captain of the outfield. Is that your role this year? Yes. And talk a little bit about that group. What, are, what does that group bring to the table uh, defensively? Um, I think knowing that all of us in the outfield are there to back up the infield and like, like for the infield, knowing that we're out there to like catch their balls and like, I don't know, just making sure we're there. I think it's really important. And I think we all have the potential to do good. Excellent. And coming in senior year, do you have a little bit of uh, so that, that schizophrenic feeling where you're like, wow, I'm so excited to be a senior, but at the same time, you know, time's running out on your career. How are you dealing with that? Yeah, I think I'm just taking in like all the moments mm -hmm. with my teammates and making sure that like we're all just like, I don't know, like working together, making it a good season. I asked Peyton a little bit about how the program's changed since uh, Coach Garrett's been there. What have you seen, uh, the positive changes? I've seen, like, a lot of, like, um, like, a lot of potential, and like, in all the girls. Like, seeing, like, Coach Garrett coach, like, it just, there's so much, I, like, just so good, such good stuff. What what do you see as this team's strengths this year? Um, I see our defense is going to be really good because Mia Mia's a really big part of our team, and so is Lexi, and just them too. I think they're going to be oh. good. And um, I just I think all of us are just really hard workers, and we have I think we're going to do good. Excellent. All right. What are your goals for senior season? My goals are to have a better record and just making good um, connections with all the girls. All right. Well, good luck to you this year. Thank all you. Right. All right, Lexi, on to you. And for the folks at home, just introduce yourself, name, grade, and position. I'm Lexi Kessler. I'm a senior, and I'm, I've been a catcher for the past couple of years since freshman year, but I think I also might be playing first a little bit this year, too. All right. So as the catcher, you're, you're that quarterback of the infield. You see the whole field. So you've seen the positive changes from your teammates for, for the last four years. Yeah. What do you see as the, the biggest part of the growth for this program? I think definitely with Coach Garrett coming in, she's given us more confidence than we've had in the past and just kind of making us um, play how we, sh how we could have been playing since freshman year. Because before we've been very like laid back and like, it is what it is, but now she's like giving us the drive that we need to like actually want to win and want to show like that we're better than what we've shown in the past. What is it about playing catcher that you like? Uh, a lot of kids won't touch that position. It takes a, a special player to do it. Um, I like being able to like yell at people, but not yell, but like tell them like, hey, we're going here and like giving the pitcher the confidence to like having her like being able to like control the game and like slow it down when I have to and then. I also like whenever people steals, I can throw the ball, but I so like Mia, it. So, so Mia was a freshman last year. I imagine yeah. she had some, some, you know, good moments, some bad moments. What kind of growth have you seen in her, both in her pitching ability and in her confidence? Um, she's definitely been in the off season. She's definitely been practicing with pitching coaches and you can definitely tell because her speed is so much better. She's definitely more confident because I think it has to do with, her pitching coach but also just getting stronger and realizing like hey I can do this and everybody telling her like we've seen you do it we know you can do it you just have to believe in yourself to do it all right and so moving over to first base a little bit what's that transition been like um I've done it in the past but it's been so long it's definitely gonna be like I need to practice it more but I'm excited it gives me a chance to try other things and gives other people chances to play positions that they want to play too. Outstanding. Give me uh, so, some players on your team you think are going to have a breakout season this year. Peyton and Caroline for sure. I think Mia with pitching and then Bridget Edwards for sure. She's a freshman coming in. She's doing great. I think everybody, honestly, they've just improved so much with the drive that we've instilled this year. Outstanding. All right. Well, good luck to you. Coach, I'm going to come back to you. And it looks like we've got a, a special visitor. So, uh, yeah, I, I apologize. Love those visitors. 
That's outstanding. And, and that's one thing you have to appreciate about female coaches. They just wear so many hats and they've got to multitask all the time. So so props to you for doing that and building yeah. a great softball program. But uh, it's got to be fun for you. Yeah, this year has been interesting. She came in December. So unfortunately, I'm lucky enough. I coach with my dad as assistant coach. So he's been handling a lot of um, the in-person as I'm out on maternity leave and whatnot. But I'm definitely itching to get back on the field and Clearly, we've got another softball player coming down the line here, so it makes it exciting. Excellent. Yeah, it'll take a few years for, for her to get there, but uh, yeah. <laughs> hopefully it's worth the wait. But just growth-wise, this program, you know, it, it hasn't been a strong program, but you've been competitive in, in all your conference games. You're, you're starting to get to that point. Do you see that program on the verge of taking that next step? I definitely do. I mean, coming in, we were really working hard to try and build a youth program to feed our high school program because it was pretty much non-existent, to be honest, um, a couple of years ago. So we've worked really, really hard. I know um, just this year we've got two 14 new teams that are currently working and playing um, this season and then a couple of even younger teams behind them, which is super excited because um, like I said, that means feeding into our high school program now one, we're seeing more interest in softball, which is makes my heart happy. But also, two, we're seeing girls come in with a lot of the basic skills and knowledge that we haven't seen in the past. Outstanding. And I've, I've asked the girls to, to mention some of their teammates that maybe they thought were going to have a big year. Who are some of the girls that have impressed you in the preseason? Um, obviously my three seniors here. Um, we also have a couple more seniors. Um, Kate Quinn, she's going to be awesome. She's going to pick up right where she left off, I think, from last year. Um, we've got another senior who's joining us this year. Her name's Sophie Hill. Um, she's going to be taking first base and swapping with Lexi for catcher. Real excited to watch her play. Um, our couple of freshmen that I've got um are like mentioned previously Bridget Edwards she's going to be taking third for us and she's just shown just being a powerhouse in the field um and in the batter's box uh Gina Ponikvar very excited to watch her she's just hungry she's got a great competitive spirit wants to play wants to be out there wants the ball um there's I mean honestly this is the first year my dad and I talk about it constantly this is the first year where we feel like moving into like the batting lineup and into the field, we have no gaps. We feel real confident and real um, excited about who we're putting in each of our positions. Outstanding. And then just last question for you is how, how are you going to define success for this team? I mean, I'm sure you've got some goals, whether you hit them or not, you can still have a successful season, but for you, what's that going to take? Absolutely. Oh, and I forgot to mention one player, Mia Beaver. Sorry, got to give her a shout out because I'm a pitcher. Sure. At her. I mean, she's got a lot that's riding on her this year, but her goal is to let them hit. And our defense is going to be our key this year, which we're excited to put them out there on the field. But I think as far as having a successful season, um, I just want to see the girls get that competitive grit in them. I think that's the biggest thing moving forward. I want to see them um, want it as much as me and my dad and our uh, JV coach this year, Coach Macy, want it. Um, we know it's in them, and I think just watching them go out there and enjoy the game but yet be competitive at the game is going to be for a successful season for us. Outstanding. All right, Coach and ladies, I appreciate you joining us here for CBC Spring Sports Media Day, and best of luck to you this year. Lexi, you get an A-plus for your uh, St. Patrick's Day spirit. Thank so. you. The rest of you enjoy your St. Patrick's Day and uh, best of luck to you this season. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Steve. Thank you. Thank you.